Let's get to China trade. We have with us Curtis Ellis, former Trump campaign trade and jobs advisor. All right, Curtis, let's get this straight. I don't think there's any quick end to this trade war. What do you say? I agree with you. There is no quick end to this trade war. The president is not going to capitulate. Look, folks, let's keep our eye on the ball. Let's remember what's at stake here. China is out to take over the world, and they are using economic means to do it. If they achieve their goal, we will not have a free market economy. We will not have democracy. We won't have a country. First, they came for the factory workers, and the people in Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania understand that very well. Then they came for our high tech. And then they came for intellectual property. Now, think about this, Stuart. If we don't have property rights, if you don't, aren't secure that your innovation is going to be protected and you're going to be able to make money by innovating, there is no more innovation in the economy. And then there is nothing left for okay. our, way of, uh, our way of doing business. Okay, jo it, yeah. jo jo join, join this argument because we've been going on for 90 minutes now. Yeah. I say that President Trump is in a much stronger position than Xi Jinping of China. I think China's leader is in a corner, and I think he's boxed in. I think we're in the stronger position. What say Abs you? Absolutely, we are. Now, look what happened when they devalued their currency. Number one, we declared them a currency manipulator, which is really kind of a symbolic gesture. But remember, right now, there is a regulation being written in the Commerce Department by Gilbert Kaplan and others that will allow us to put a tariff on China for devaluing its currency, a countervailing duty. They devalue their currency by 10 percent. We can hit them with a 10 percent tariff. Uh, that's the way it works. So they don't have that many tools in their box. But on the other the side of the coin, let's look at President Trump's position here. We have a large investment firm on Wall Street saying that we're going to go to a global recession if this trade fight keeps up. And we'll be going to that global recession by the summer of next year, right before the election. That's not in President Trump's interest. Well, as long as the American economy is steady, it doesn't matter about a global recession. They keep doing this bait and switch. The economy, where, are they talking about the American economy or the global economy? All of the indicators show that the American economy remains strong. And I'll tell you what, the people in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, they understand we've been in this trade war for 30 years. They've been bearing the brunt of it, and they are very happy to see President Trump take a stand. And if it means they have to pay a little bit more for bed sheets or for tube socks, they're saying we're willing to make that sacrifice. Go look at Arlington Cemetery, and we'll see what others have sacrificed to keep our country in our way of life. All right. That's the way the voters feel. Tough talk from Curtis this morning. Curtis Ellis, thanks very much for being with us. We will see you again soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. North